Did you know that Ikor Ray gives out quest lines that rewards nine free exotic armor pieces? During the Spark of Hope quest line, Commander Zavala asks you to speak to Ikor at the tower where she will give three exotic armor pieces per class available for you to pick up once you've unlocked all three light subclasses. This is going to be the start of a new video series called Beginner Builds. I'm your host, Caveman PRDR, and let's dive right into it. But before we do, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel as both help out me tremendously as I make content for you guys. Thank you. Let's get on with the video. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Beginner Builds. Today we're going to be taking a look at the helmet for the hunter, the Graviton Forfeit Helmet. Armor's perk is Vanishing Shadow, increases the duration of any invisibility effects. While you are invisible, your melee recharges faster, your weapons reload faster, and your recovery is greatly increased. You can get Graviton Forfeit by completing the Guardian Rises storyline and also completing the uh, Risk Reward mission. And once you get finished with those, you can talk to Ikora. Ikora will have... Uh, Missions for you to unlock the other subclasses. For Hunter, you usually start off with Solar. You're able to unlock uh, Void and Arc specifically. Afterward, once you complete this, once you complete the quest lines for those, there will be quest lines available for these specific exotics, which are going to the one we will cover today will be Graviton Forfeit, the Into the Abyss storyline or the uh, quest line rather, will start on step 3 out of 9. You are able to unlock this. You will have to complete the Ori Lost Sector on Nessus and loot the Lost Sector chest there. Also this weekend, Zur is located in the Winding Cove. He has a pretty decent role for the Graviton Forfeit exotic. I highly recommend going to visit him this weekend to pick it up. I imagine he will be going away at Weekly Reset, I believe, on a Tuesday around 11 or 12 p.m. Central Time. I highly recommend going to pick this up if you do not have a good role for this exotic. And now we'll go with the build breakdown. So, uh, Graviton Forfeit is a it's more of a utility exotic in its purpose with the subclass. Utility along with uh, more so survivability, the uh, just ability to extend your invis duration in case you need to clutch up and get reses, or if you just need to run in and get a quick finisher on an enemy that is weak, maybe spawn some green ammo for your team, special ammo for yourself or for your team. We'll go into the uh, Night Stalker tree real quick. We are going to be using Gambler's Dodge. Dodging your enemies fully recharges your melee ability. We're going to be using it along with the uh, Snare Bomb. You don't really have a choice but to use this one. This is only melee one. You can use the Jump of your choice. I am personally using Vortex Grenade for this build. I'm going to be using the Deadfall uh, Shadow Shot so that way you can tether enemies. This is going to be more of the... Uh, crowd control aspect of the uh, of the build where it helps you just uh, debuff enemies and tether a lot of enemies that are sitting together helps you and your team deal more damage to them and kind of keeps them from being able to do so much damage to you vanishing step a dodge doing your uh, class ability turns you invisible and they're using trapper's ambush if you have a fully charged uh, melee ability you can jump up and slam the ground and turn yourself invisible as well as allies that are nearby. Fragments, we're going to be using Echo of Persistence, where uh, buffs like uh, Invis, Overshield, and Devour of Increased Duration. We're going to be using Echo of Remnants paired with Vortex Grenade so the Vortex Grenade will last longer. We're going to be using Echo of Cessation. Finisher Final Blows create a Void Damage burst that causes nearby combatants to come volatile and defeating volatile targets creates a void breach and we're going to be using echo of starvation picking up a void breach or an orb of power grants devour so this is going to help along with our survivability devour is a buff that uh, replenishes your health we're going to be running tier 7 mobility you want to have 
probably a moderate uh, mobility stat. This is going to be tied to your class ability cooldown. We're going to be using the dodge roll to turn invisible fairly often, so you're going to want to have that moderate, moderately high cooldown there. I want tier 10 resilience to get 30% damage reduction in PvE. We're going to be tanking our recov stats so that we can get higher stats in other uh, in other categories. Um, the reason for this is that is uh, we can actually supplement this. So uh, we're going to be using the devour part of our build. Whenever we pick up orbs of power, we're going to be able to get chunks of health regen through that aspect. So uh, that's going to be one way we can get our health in that way. Uh, also during the Whenever we use Graviton Forfeit, when we are invisible, we gain increased recovery stats. So with that, I think from what I've seen from other people's videos, that uh, the recovery stat that uh, Graviton Forfeit gives you from its armor perk is like is roughly equivalent to tier 9. So I just choose to tank the recovery stat because I know I have two ways to supplement getting health back. Using the Discipline stat, I'm trying not to have it too terribly low, but uh, we're going to be finding other ways to also get uh, decreases in grenade cooldown in the build. Same thing with Intellect stat, we're going to be using armor mods that kind of help us with our region for this. And Strength stat, Strength is your going to be your cooldown for your charge melee. You kind of want to have this moderate. I have it at tier 7 so that way I can use a fully charged melee to jump up in the air and then dive bomb and turn myself invisible. If I need to res a teammate, I can jump up in the air and turn them invisible after they've been res so that way they can move. They can have uh, some amount of time to move to a safe location. So let's get on with the armor perks themselves. I'm going to take a look at the Graviton Forfeit Helmet first. So, you can pretty much use a, a variety of things on the helmet. Um, personally, I'm trying to supplement Intellect here. So, I'm using my Dodge Roll. I'm using the Dynamo Helmet mod to reduce my super cooldown when I'm near targets. So, I'm using my Dodge Roll near the enemy to get a boost in my super cooldown. For it, you can use that. You can also use Heavy Ammo Finder. And then I'm personally wanting to use a Siphon mod that matches the primary I'm using. So right now I'm using a Kinetic, so I'm going to use a Kinetic Siphon. I'm doing activities right now where there are other people involved. So I'm probably going to be using Powerful Friends, collecting an Orb of Power, causing nearby allies to increase their armor charge. So this is kind of just what I'm running right now with a dynamo instead of the heavy ammo finder but you can do that it's just a there's a pretty big option here for the helmet mods the uh, arm the arm mod specifically i personally always like using fastball that's up to you if you want to use it i like firepower to increase uh orbs of power generation with uh, grenade final blows and then i also like using bolstering detonation grants class ability energy when you cause damage with a grenade using bolstering detonation so that way whenever I have uh, more extended damage with the vortex grenade it should help a good bit even more with uh, generating that class ability energy the hold fast vest I uh, really like using an armor charge here or charged up mod increases the maximum number of armor stacks you can get by one this leaves three spots open i like to use one or two with different elemental resistance mods here for the leg piece i like using stacks on stacks picking up an armor picking up an orb of power grants you one additional stack of armor charge so you get two stacks for the price of one whenever you pick up an orb of power I like using Innervation here, reducing grenade cooldown every time I pick up an Orb of Power. And I also like Insulation, reduces your class ability cooldown each time you pick up an Orb of Power. And then on the Cloak, we're going to be using Time Dilation. Your, de your Decaying Armor Charge has a longer duration. 
powerful attraction automatically collects nearby orbs of power when you activate your class ability. You're going to be using your class ability fairly often, with, so I'm just liking powerful attraction in case if there's one or two orbs of power nearby. Maybe you don't immediately see it and you just dodge roll, pick it up. Or maybe you're near a group of enemies. Some of them maybe already dead, maybe have an orb of power nearby on them. Just dodge roll, automatically pick them up and get those, uh, get those armor charge stacks. And we're going to be spending the armor charge stacks on special finisher mod. It consumes three stacks of armor charge to generate special ammo for the whole team. So I like that. So personally, this is just uh, using a build that can give you invisibility. You run in, maybe finisher an enemy, get those special ammo drops for the team. Um, your weapons that you use, they can vary however uh, you are pleasing. Um, I personally have something that's just kind of easy and ready to go that has all three champion types covered. Um, specifically, uh, like I said, it's not really, you don't necessarily have to run this. One thing, if you do have it and come across it, I highly recommend finding a weapon with shoot to loot kinetic trimmers. So uh, shoot to loot. Shooting an orb of power picks it up. Shooting an ammo brick picks it up and automatically reloads all of your equipped weapons from reserves. This keeps you from having to go into the fray to pick up an orb of power or to pick up an ammo brick if you don't want to use your invisibility to do these things. Kinetic tremors sustained kinetic damage to target emits a shockwave that damages nearby out nearby targets. So. There is a special interaction with these where you can actually use the kinetic shock waves to pick up orbs of power or to pick up ammo bricks. And I'll show it here. There will be a clip of gameplay, or actually it's going to be in the gameplay where I'm doing damage to a major or a champion and it's going to pick up a heavy brick for me. You'll see it on this. Uh, you'll see it on this nightfall run where that happens. And I'm picking up orbs as well with the battle scar. Whenever I pick up the orbs of power as well, I'm getting devour. So I don't even have, I don't necessarily even have to run in to pick up the orb of power. Whenever I use shoot to loot, it's going to proc echo, echo of starvation. And it's going to automatically spawn, uh, it's going to give me the devour buff. Because I'm picking it up with shoot to loot. So. That's going to be it for the build breakdown. If you have any questions or concerns or any comments, let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.